And we are now being joined by Head Attorney, the Liberos Oshoma Chambers, Mr. Liberos Oshoma. And also joining us is legal practitioner Evans Ufeli. Thanks for coming on the news. Thank you, my pleasure. And so good to have you once again. So how much right exactly does the government have on citizens' details? Mr. Liberos, we'll start with you. Um, first and foremost, we need to understand that um, every action of the government should be governed by laws. And the Constitution guarantees um, a right to personal liberty. And then um, if... Um, any, any of such rights must be overrided by the government, it has to follow the process. It has to be by uh, the pronouncement of the court and not just by the whims and caprices of um, the security man, however he feels. And, and so um, it's quite unfortunate that um, our rights as guaranteed by the law are not protected here. Uh, under the guise of insecurity, Somebody can just wake up and say that he wants to assess your personal details because those details are, have been volunteered and submitted, you know, um, to the country for uh, registration and then um, for collation of that capacity. But that said, that is not the position of the law. Um, the law guarantees that our personal uh, in privacy, personal information, and the right to those private information should be guaranteed and if anybody at all be a security agent or anybody at all must access such a, uh, uh, information it must be through the same provision of the law the concern is very clear on that okay all right mr evans please can we hear your opinion on this same aspect if the government has so much right on the citizens details yeah the government have no such rights uh, to assess uh, the citizens' detail because um, uh, this is a right that is encapsulated under the fundamental rights of Nigerians as predicated under Section 37, uh, subsection 1 of 1999 Constitution as amended, which says that uh, the private communications okay, of citizens, be it in their homes, in their offices, and in their private uh, arena must be protected. So uh, we are in a situation where when people or institutions want to move against the law, they go to the presidency to meet the president, and then they ask the president to take permission to do The president now begins to act like an emperor. Instead of sending uh, a bill to the National Assembly to have that right modified or to have uh, to create uh, an enabling environment through which uh, security agencies can assess this information, but they must do it without arbitrariness. So uh, we are not doing the right thing. Okay. The president opening the floodgate for our security agencies, these same security agencies that we have all complained about, of their high-handedness and their, their irresponsible attitude to the enforcement of law and order in our society, is the same security agency that the president is opening the floodgate to violate further the, the, the rights and privileges of Nigerians as contained under the 1999 Constitution, not just under the 1999 Constitution, but under the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, okay, and every other uh, international protocol that um, uh, governs the issue of fundamental rights of citizens globally. Okay. All right. Um, so, sorry, Mr. Evans. Uh, Mr. Evans. We must resist that kind of... Uh, conduct from the president. All right. Um, so very quickly, Mr. Evans, before I go to Mr. Um, Liberos, why do they um, bypass the law by going uh, to the presidency instead of passing through the National Assembly? Can you hear me, Mr. Evans? I'll repeat I the question. I, I want to repeat the question. I said, why are they bypassing the law by going to the president direct instead of passing through the National Assembly? Mr. Liberos, I don't know if you can answer this question. Yeah, um, first and foremost, we need also to clarify something. If you look at Section 45 of 1999 Constitution, because most of these actions are, are hidden under Section 45 of the 1999 Constitution, but Section 45 is very explicit and clear. 
It says nothing in section 38, 37, 40, and 41 of the Constitution shall invalidate any law that is reasonably justified in a democratic society in the interest of defense, public safety, public order, public morality, or public health. Okay. That means the, that section is not talking about arbitrariness, going to the president because the president is not a lawmaker. Mm -hmm. That section is talking about invalidating a law made by the National Assembly for the defense of the society. And so if we are talking about a law empowering security agencies to collect information for the purpose of national security, then it would be a different case altogether. But in this case, there is no law. The president cannot be a law unto itself. The president is not, is not a lawmaker. And the president also cannot, by fear or by uh, executive pronouncement, invalidate the provisions of the Constitution, not to talk of the, the fundamental rights. These are rights that are you are born with. They're inalienable rights. And I'm so, for the reason why they go to the presidency is the fact that because we have a system of government where impunity reigns supreme. And I'm so, the rest of us are those sides. And anything they throw at us, we accept it hook, line, and stinker. Okay, so, very easy for so to sorry, sorry to, to cut you on this, Mr. Liberos. So right now, what's the way forward? What's the way forward? How can way, this whole thing, the, yes, come to the favor of the people? The way, so forward, that's, the way forward is for the government to do what Sarah has asked them to do. You cannot, by fiat, invalidate or override a fundamental right in the Constitution. Wow. So take a law before the National Assembly and then do the right thing. Simple. We are not in a banana republic. All right, um, Mr. Liberos, just one last question, and please make it very, very short. Do you see the presidency complying to these um, uh, positions from Serap? Do you think the presidency is going to accept um, what Serap is saying? No, I do not see the president do that, because this president is known to obey the law in brief. Consistently, the president, even before the NBA, the president had told us that when matters of security are concerned, that our laws should be suspended. And so I don't see him comply, except Nigerians collectively compel him to do this. All right, then. All right, thank you so much for your time. And thank you, Mr. Evans, as well, uh, for your time. And um, we appreciate this information you gave us concerning this. Have a great day. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.